What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Rally Roots video. This is gonna be a very, very cool video, I think, because um, in today's video, we're gonna show you some items that we've sold for $100 plus on wow. eBay. Yeah. It's a lot of money. It is. <laughs> so you guys know we kind of tell you to focus on a higher average sales price, but we wanted to make this video to kind of show you some of those types of items that mm. sell for a bit more money on eBay. But before we get into that, I just wanted to make mention really quick, our next round of mentoring is coming up. I'm gonna be sending out sign up emails this Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So this Friday, the 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern time, look out for that email. As always, it's the first 75 people to get that email and sign up. Those are the, the only people we're gonna be taking on for this next round. Um, it will be our last round of mentoring for the next, at least the next few months, we're gonna be taking a break. So if you wanna jump on that, I'll put a link in the description of this video and go ahead and uh, jump on that. So with that being said, let's get into these items that have sold for us for more than $100 on eBay. Money, money, money. You wanna start it out, babe? Sure. I remember when we found this at a thrift store, mm -hmm. another reseller was there and he was like, I don't wanna ship this, but you guys might be interested. So we looked at it and the battery compartment was perfect and it sold for $132. Nice. So it is a, I'm just gonna have to cheat and read this. <laughs> it's a Sony Explode, whoa, boom box, <laughs> ghetto blaster, nice, radio cassette player. Oh, MP3 tested. Sweet, that's right, we tested it. Yes, it worked very well. It did. Yeah. So that's a good one, sold for $132, which is great. And that was shipped. So we're gonna tell you the prices including shipping. Some of these sold with additional shipping, but we're gonna tell you the prices for it together, shipping together. Yes. Yeah. And uh, if I remember how much we paid for them, I'll tell you that as well. This item, the Sony uh, Boombox, we paid 20 bucks for. Nice. Yeah, so nice, decent uh, return on investment there. Yeah. This next item, um, I think I sold it too low. Uh, it was one of those ones that sold really fast, it sold the same day that I listed it. It's a vintage G1 flight jacket. I believe it's Vietnam era. I don't know too much about military, um, so I kind of listed it what I thought was a good price for it, and it sold for $185. That being said, we were only into it for, I believe, 20 bucks. So I'm not too mad about it because it sold for a lot of money, for mm -hmm. us anyway. But I think it's it's probably worth closer to 300 bucks. Um, but you never know with these type of items. It's You, you have to kind of do your, your research on them. Right. I didn't do too much research on it, just listed it and it sold. And I think that this one, it had a couple of imperfections it on it, right? Did. So yes. it's not like it was in perfect condition. Not at all. It was well loved. Yes. And the, the buyer gave us positive feedback immediately and sent us a message saying, thank you, it's a great item. They're very happy with it. So I'm glad that it went to a good home. It didn't go to another reseller. It went to someone who was actually gonna appreciate the item, which is cool. Cool. Yeah. Sold this N64, the jungle green color with two remotes and it sold for $134.47, which is really high. Just, just the system and two controllers? Yeah. Yeah, no games or anything with that one, I don't think. Oh, wait, it had, sorry, a memory expansion. Oh, right, which is okay. just the, the in the center of the N64 mm -hmm. console. You know how you expand it so you can play games like uh, Donkey Kong, remember? Right. Yeah, so that's actually a good tip, babe. Always, if you get N64s, always open up that little compartment to see if it has that expansion. Because if it does, it's worth more money. And ours definitely was. Yeah, yeah. That is a really high sales price. It is. Um, I think it, it also had to do with the color, the, the, the see-through jungle, jungle green. green is valuable. My favorite color. Right. <laughs> and it had a green controller and then a see-through orange. Mm -hmm. Is that orange? Yeah, an orange controller. So those are highly sought after colors. Yeah of controllers yeah. and a system. Great sale then. Next item up, this was a thrift store find. Um, I, it was a more expensive item. I think we paid like $15 for this pair of shoes. And it was one of those times where like, should we pay that much money? But they were brand new. So I was like, let's go, let's take a shot on them. Um, they are Sorrel brand and the model is called Joan of Arctic. Is that right? That would make yeah. sense. Joan it's of like Arctic. the play on words. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so they're, they're wedge boots, they were brand new. Um, great, great sell through on these, great comps on them, which is why I picked them up. And they ended up selling for a best offer of $150. I was shocked. And they sold very fast too. I think three days it took to sell these. Wow, usually when we buy something that's between 15 and $20 and you say, let's take a shot on it, we do really well on it. True, true. So you're good about that. I'm always weary. But usually, yeah, you're right. But usually mm -hmm. like when we decide to pay up for something, we do more research on it to make sure the sell-through is good and the demand is there. 
it, and you do great research on stuff like that. So I get really deep. You do. <laughs> yeah. But that was a great sale as well. It was. This was another awesome find. I was really excited when I found this one. I didn't really see many comps on it, but I know the product. It's a Nike Dream Team jersey, and it was from the 96 Olympics. And cool. Barkley, which is I know is what the great. Olympics are. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw it at the thrift store. I think it was priced way lower than it should have been priced. It was priced like $4. Um, and this one ended up selling for 150 bucks. Great sale. Found this Slingbox 500 at a garage sale. I garage even sale. remember which nice. garage sale we found it at. Yeah, in the couple there. And it sold for $104.97. Nice. So that's including shipping guys. Yep. Really good. And I think we paid 50, 10 for it. I think it was 20. 20. I think it was 20. 20. Okay. Yeah. It was in one of our videos. It was. So if anyone remembers. Go back and correct us. Yeah, let us know. Another garage sale find on this one. This is a Revitive Circulation Booster. And by the way, guys, I know a lot of these items have been in our past what sold on eBay videos, but we haven't ever done like a, a compilation of $100 plus sales. So that's why. And all of these sales, by the way, um, are recent sales within the past 90 days on eBay. So they're, they're more recent sales. And again, that, that higher price point. But this was another garage sale find. Well, I think I made 15 bucks for it, if I remember right. I think so. Yeah, and this was, remember. it was also one of the experiments where I checked, um, or I, I did a video on how fast will it sell. So you can go back and watch uh, that too. Okay. Yeah, but I think $15 into $140 and it sold, from what I remember it sold within the first five days of being listed. That's amazing. Yeah. And it had a UPC code, so it was really easy to list. And we tested it. It was working, remember? Oh, that's right, you freaked out. And then I tried it, it feels me. like a TENS unit. It does, for your feet. <laughs> yeah, this Mitchell and Ness jersey, Tug McGraw, don't know what that is, but it sold for $129, so I'll take it. And Allie it was no new sports. with tags. Alley No Sports. We need to do another Alley No Sports. We need to do an Ryan Knows Makeup. Oh, it would fail miserably. Yeah, like me in sports. <laughs> um, and this one was from a, it was from a wholesale lot. So most of these are from thrift stores and garage sales. This was one where we bought a bunch of jerseys in a box and this one was in there. I think it broke down to around 10 bucks is what we paid for this one. Next up, this is an Icon motorcycle jacket. Uh, this is a, one of those like armored motorcycle jackets, leather, leather ones. Also a thrift store found, found it at Goodwill, had no price tag on it. I asked them to price it and they priced it at like $3.50. Which is insane that they would, yeah. yeah, Ryan gets lucky. Sometimes, yes. Uh, but if you're nice to them, they're usually nice back. Yeah, true. Yeah. So about $4 into $117 sale. Not bad. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. This Sony PS2 sold for $125.30. I almost forgot the price. <laughs> but it sold with five controllers and 29 games, which is why it sold for the price that it sold for. Yep. And of course, we researched all of the games and pulled out the better Correct. ones and sold them separately. And then all the leftover games that weren't worth selling, either in pairs or triples, we just sold it all together as one bundle right. just to make it easier. And then granted, if one of the games doesn't work, they're probably not gonna complain about it. Yeah, yeah, you know? we try to test every game we can. Um, this one, the games looked like they were in great condition, so we sold them and we did get good feedback on this, yeah. so that's good. Um, but that, this is a, a good item to show because it is a bundle. If it was just the system, obviously we would not have got that much money for it. Right. But it's a good item, like even old systems like this, look out for them at garage sales. Because a lot of times people just have them in tubs with everything together. And people miss it. People miss it and you can make offers. You can be like, hey, I'll give you 40 bucks for everything in here um, and then turn around and sell it as a bundle. Right, and then people think no one made me an offer on it yet. Granted, it was shoved in a box. I don't want to put this back on my house. I have two PlayStations already, like PS3s and PS4s. Right. And they're like, and I also have an Xbox. So people just want to get rid of their stuff. They right. want the space back. Yeah. When you make them a fair offer, they're more than likely going to take it. And we're nice when we make those offers. True. This was a really interesting item. You picked these up, I believe, at a garage sale for 10 bucks a piece. Uh, they're just plain leather jackets, but the style is what sold these. The style is super cool. We picked up two of them. Um, I think one of them is still listed. This is more of a longer tail item looking for that right buyer. Uh, but when they come along, they pay up for them. Yes. So $10 into 113 bucks. Go me. Good job, babe. Boom. Yeah. Um, great garage sale find. We find leather jackets and stuff like this in Florida a lot because people move down from north mm -hmm. and they just have a garage sale and sell everything off. So. Uh, but keywords for this one, like Cafe Racer, um, Bomber, those type of keywords, as long as it fits the item, um, you want to put those keywords in for a generic jacket that doesn't have a brand on it. Yes. 
This ELO 1981 tour shirt old. sold, yeah, really old. It sold for $102.47. Wow. Were there any holes in it? I feel like this one was in really nice condition. It was nice in great shape. Yeah. Great shape. Obviously, it had a bit of age to it because it's from the 80s, early 80s. People like age, though. Yes, yes. But 80s stuff is selling great for us right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. And this one, you know, the, the band attached to it as well. So, yeah. But vintage. Look out for vintage and send it to us for free. <laughs> this was an interesting pair of boots because they are men's Ugg boots. Um, a lot of people wouldn't think that men's Ugg boots would sell for sometimes more than the women's ones. Very strange. Yeah, um, yeah. but this pair sold for $105, right? Yeah, $105, I think we paid like 10, 15 bucks for them and they sold fast. And they were worth it. They were worth, worth it. Worth that $15 for the 105 uh -huh. price tag. We've done well, very well with men's Ugg shoes, shoes and boots and all of the above. They sell great for us. So sometimes we buy hype stuff. <laughs> um, this was left over from that uh, Supreme North Face drop from last year. Yeah. Um, I bought the Expedition jacket, which I actually ended up making like a hundred and something dollars on. So that one was good. This hat, not so much. It sat around for a while. Um, it finally did sell. Uh, I got a lot more than I thought I would for it. It sold for a hundred bucks. I think you can get them on StockX now for like 55 or 60 bucks. So we got more on eBay than we would have like on StockX. So that's cool. Yeah, and you also lost it. I did lose it for like a few months. Six months. <laughs> but then I found it and listed it and it sold. So um, sold for a hundred bucks. I think the retail on it was like $88. So after shipping and fees, I think I lost a, a few dollars, which that's the risk you take sometimes when you're buying hype type items. Hype type. Yep, hype type. Yeah. And then the last item we're gonna talk about is this Miami Hurricanes chalk line vintage jacket. It finally sold. It finally sold and not for very much. It sold for a hundred dollars. And we thought it was gonna sell for a lot more, but we only paid like $2 for it. So we made a bunch of money. Someone got a really good deal. That person's really happy. Yeah. We're in profit. The jacket's gone. You know, that money is gonna go to like painting this new building that we're buying, maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, hundred or one dollar into a hundred bucks. Can't complain about that. Um, and we, we were offered $30 for it when we took it down to round two. Because they had you know. so many. Yeah. <laughs> so better than taking thirty dollars, we did end up getting a hundred bucks for it. Um, took like Ali said, took a bit longer to sell, but I think that's also because the there were a bunch of them out there. There were so many listed yeah. all of a sudden on eBay, and I told Ryan that the price was really high on it. Yeah. So you went and looked at it, dropped the price, dropped so the like, price a bit because I be dropped the price, and then you changed the price, mm -hmm. and then it ended up selling hundred dollar best offer. Yeah, yeah, for our best offer, which we made money on it. So yep. don't be greedy guys. Don't be afraid True. to sometimes if something's been sitting around for a long time and even though you feel like it's worth more, look at the market, yep. a lot of stuff was listed. We made money, got rid of it, yep. and then we can roll that money into new inventory. So right. if you have still inventory, just roll it into something else. True. Good point. So there's some items that sold for $100 plus on eBay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit the thumbs up button on this video. We'd appreciate it. If you want to let us know maybe some items that you've sold for more than $100, leave a comment on this video. We'd love to hear from you. Yes, yeah, specific. specific. Don't just like general, like I sold a Left shoe. For <laughs> Anyone selling single shoes lately? Because there is a market for yeah, that. Sure there is. If you're not aware, there is a market for that. Do your research. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks for... Thanks for hanging out with us. Be sure again to look out for that email Friday, this Friday the 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Check your inbox. Once the 75 spots are gone, they're gone um, and the payment button will be removed from our website entirely. So make sure to look out for that. We're looking forward to working with our last group of Yay. mentoring students. For a while. And now we have this property to we're keep us busy. Yet. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> we're gonna maybe have a property. Yeah. We're sitting right now at the property that we are considering purchasing. Yeah. We like this wall. It's a nice backdrop. So anyway, guys, happens. thank you so much for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Allie Roots. And, and together, together we, we are Rally Roots. Rally Roots. Hope you really enjoyed this video. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up. Peace. Peace.